Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, if you've been here since the beginning, you'll recognize where I am right now. I'm literally sitting back on my bedroom floor where I filmed some of my first videos for this channel. So we're kicking it old school today because your girl's having a really rough morning and I just cleaned in here. We got this cute utility cart for all my little plant stuff. So I was able to move some things and have some more space. There's still a lot of work to be done in here. I am trying really hard to clear out the space and make it feel like a happy, positive space again, because unfortunately a lot of things in here trigger me. Um, I haven't really been shy about the fact that I've been struggling. Uh, there's a lot going on. Mostly the fact that, like, I just had my heart ripped out of my chest and then just, like, stomped all over and then, like, shoved in my face. But that's fine. Um, <laughs> so it's been a rough morning. I look like hell and I apologize. But I wanted to unbox this humidifier with you guys because I've been sitting with it. So, here's the thing. This company um, sent me a humidifier, I don't know, maybe like a month or two ago, and I had it working fine, and then it just decided that it didn't want to work anymore because I wanted to actually really use this thing for a while before I told you guys whether or not I thought it was good. So, I haven't really had a chance to use it. I reached out to them, let them know what was going on. They tried to help me fix it. It didn't work, so they sent me another one. And that is what I have right here. Hopefully I didn't just show you my address. No, that's just an Amazon sticker. So, yeah, no, because I took this. This was a box within a box from Amazon. So I will leave the link to this below, but is the Y-Kurt? Wee-Kurt? Y-Kurt? I don't know ultrasonic air humidifier so I am just gonna open this up and show you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna plug it in and see if it actually works I was literally just about to do this and that's never a good plan so I'm gonna be smart and turn it around so I don't stab myself today all right it's good I apologize for the bad lighting I just um I'm sitting on the floor. Like I said, my, I've been doing laundry, so ignore my gym clothes hanging. They can't go in the dryer, and your girl's been, like, forcing herself to go to the gym, even though I have no energy because I don't sleep. And I keep going to the gym thinking, like, oh, I'll tire myself out, and then I'll be able to sleep. No. No. Anyway, so if you have been depressed before or anxious, like, you know the struggle to sleep at night is real. So, this is it. Another box within a box. This is the third box that I've had to take it out of. So, this is what it looks like. You can see on the box here, it has UV to sanitize you can control the mist level there is a timer on it and you can set the humidity level so this is a nice sleek design i will say that i like that about it so i guess we're just hoping that it actually works so it comes with a little remote with all those same buttons on it that i just showed you so you can control it from wherever something to clean it with that i'll probably never use and some god-awful styrofoam. Let's take it out. So this is what it looks like. I'll be reusing as much of this packaging as I possibly can. Be kind to the environment, folks. I know it's really difficult these days because you can't control who sends you styrofoam. This is it. This is what it looks like. You've got all the same buttons across here. That you have on the remote and everything. So you have your UV. 
to turn it on and off. You can control your humidity level. You can set your humidity level so that when it gets there, it will shut off automatically. You can put it on a timer for, I think, I forget how many hours up to, but we'll play with it. You can control the mist level. There's three different settings, low, medium, and high. And then obviously you have your on off button. So power cord is back here. It's pretty decently long. The tank comes off pretty easy. So obviously it's recommended to use uh, distilled or filtered water. I don't really worry about it too much. My water here is pretty clean. I can use the filtered water if I want to, but essentially I'll just have to clean it a little bit more often, which is fine because see how easy it comes off. That is it. I think this is where you have a little tray. There's a sponge inside here. Not anymore. Where you can put essential oils because you're not supposed to put them directly in here. So if you did want to use this as an oil diffuser, you could put your essential oils in here. Into the little chamber. And then boom, you got your smells. I am going to fill this up, plug it in see what happens okay fam so I am back <laughs> not looking like a hot mess hopefully having a better day than I was in the beginning of this video so yeah I wanted to show you sorry this is really bright I wanted to show you how my humidifier is doing how to use it it's been a few weeks See how my plants are doing and all that good stuff so let me turn you around and show you the humidifier <laughs> okay so here we have my begonias if you guys don't know now you know i got a massive begonia you'll see that in my vlog that i've been filming coming up in the beginning of june so i guess if you're into that keep an eye out for that but yeah I have all my begonias chilling here this one's new as well don't judge me I have it kind of just hiding back in there I need to fill it with water I'm gonna show you guys So it's easier for me to actually do this while it's in here because taking this on and off is a little bit tricky without getting things wet. So I just fill it up like this and try not to spill water on my dresser. Okay, I think that's enough. Put this back on. And then this is what it looks like. You can either use your remote, which I normally do, or you have all the same buttons on the screen here. But I'm usually in bed and I can't get to it. <laughs> so turn it on. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I can turn on the UV sterilization which just helps clean the water because I'm using tap water. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the humidity. So it says 40 right now. I'm going to put it all the way up to 80 because it's never going to get up there so it won't shut off. And then from here you can also control your mist level. So this is one. Two. And three. So, it goes pretty far. I have to rearrange some plants in here still, so I just keep it pretty low so that it's not blowing too much moisture on my plants. There's a timer, too. Um, I don't really use that function. But you could set it, you see here, for one hour, two hour. Up to eight hours. And then it just goes off, so... 
Right here you're seeing 44% relative humidity right now. I don't know how accurate that is because I do tend to have like the fan on and the air circulating and stuff, but the begonias seem happy. I mean, this one over here is pushing out this like crazy beautiful new leaf. So it lasts a while on this tank in my opinion. I don't feel like I need to refill it too often every couple of days. I really only leave it on when I'm home during the day and I think that the plants are going to be happy about it. I'm going to move a lot of my, my cacti and my weirdos that I haven't given you guys a proper tour of yet but this is a little peek of the weird stuff I have going on here but I'm going to put more humidity loving plants here essentially because the cacti and stuff do not need the extra humidity. There is definitely some rearranging to do in here, but otherwise, I've never had a humidifier before, so first time for everything. I'm definitely liking it, and you guys can get yourself one. I will leave you the link in the description box below. Super inexpensive, doesn't take up a lot of space. I definitely like that because I don't have a lot of space. So the question is, do your plants really need the extra humidity? Like, is a humidifier necessary as a plant parent? And I would say no, it's really not, but it does help. Like, I'm not going to deny the fact that extra humidity for a lot of plants, especially begonias, are going to... They're just going to thrive more. They're going to grow faster for you. They might grow bigger leaves. The leaves are going to come in faster and healthier because sometimes during the unfurling process, if you don't have enough humidity, they just don't unfurl right. So that is definitely a factor to keep in mind. When it comes to rooting my plants too, humidity is a huge factor in like how to successfully root them quickly as well. So is a humidifier necessary? No. I mean, if you're living in a really dry climate, which I'm not most of the year, I'm in the northeast, so it gets pretty humid here in the summertime, but I've been surviving this whole time without it as a plant parent, and my plants have been fine, but now that I have all these begonias, I figured I would try it out, and if you guys are into humidity hose, then yeah, you might need a humidifier, but if you don't want one, then just don't buy any humidity hose. You feel me? Okay, I'm glad that we cleared that up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. And I will see you in the next one, I hope. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me little angel wing emojis in honor of all my angel wing begonias because I have a problem. I love you guys. I will see you soon.